We also need to be able to work with parallel lines. So first, let's recall the definition of parallel lines. You've likely heard the geometric definition of parallel lines somewhere in your past. Geometrically speaking, parallel lines are lines in the plane that go on forever and ever, but never intersect, despite them going on without bound. Down here is an example of two parallel lines. Imagine these going on forever and ever. They will never intersect with one another. They are parallel lines. We need to develop an understanding of parallel lines algebraically. So while yes, geometrically, lines in the plane are parallel if they never intersect, we need an algebraic understanding of that. In order for us to answer a question like this, we want to know, are the lines represented by the equations y equals negative 3x plus 4 and 6x plus 2y equals negative 1 parallel? Well, yes, technically we could graph both of these lines and then see if they look parallel, but technically in the long run, it might even be difficult to know, do they absolutely not intersect? We need to understand this algebraically. Thus far, the major features of lines that we've looked at have been their x-intercepts, their y-intercepts, and the slopes of the lines. Of those three features, which one will influence whether two lines are parallel or not? It is the slope that matters. Two lines are parallel if they have the exact same slope. That's our algebraic definition of it. So let's add it here. Lines that have the same slope are parallel. And technically, we want to add in one other piece here. The two lines should technically have different y-intercepts, because if they have the same slope and the same y-intercept, then they're actually exactly the same line. So I'm just going to add here in parentheses, although it's not nearly as important. The main thing is that they have the exact same slope, but they also should have different y-intercepts. So let's now see if we can answer this. Are the lines represented by y equals negative 3x plus 4 and 6x plus 2y equals negative 1 parallel? Well, algebraically, we need to know, do they have the same slope or not? If they have the same slope, they're parallel. If they do not have the same slope, then they are not parallel. We need to be able to identify the slopes. Again, if we can recall, our slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. The key to that form is that y is isolated. If we can get y isolated, then the coefficient of the input variable x will be exactly our slope. Right? So this one is already in that form. Hence, negative 3 is the slope of this line. Is 6 the slope of this line? It is not because y is not totally isolated here. So we have some work to do. We need to get y by itself before we can read off the slope of the line. So in order to isolate y here, we want to subtract 6x. That would give us 2y on the left negative 6x minus 1 on the right. Of course, you could write negative 1 minus 6x as well, but typically students often like to see the x component before the y coordinate of the y-intercept. So we'll just write it that way. And then we need to divide both sides by 2 to isolate y. So we've got y equals, and don't forget this 2 needs to divide into each of these by the distributed property. And negative 6x divided by 2 is negative 3x, and 1 divided by 2 is a half. And of course, we're subtracting that off. So this equation, 6x plus 2y equals negative 1 is equivalent to y equals negative 3x minus 1 half. And from this version, I can see the slope. The slope is precisely m equals negative 3. So now we can compare these two. One has slope negative 3. The other one has slope negative 3. So we can confidently conclude that these are parallel lines. So yes, they are parallel lines. And technically, the graphs of these actual equations are these two right here. But again, that's not necessary. If you drew the graph, that would take you a lot more time. Doing this algebraically is much quicker and more efficient. Let's try another problem involving parallel lines. We want to find an equation of a line that's parallel to the line y minus 2x equals 5 that goes through the point negative 6, 1. So we need to find the equation of the line. In the previous example, you were given two equations and you're asked, are these two lines parallel? Now we have one equation and we have one point and we need to find a line that goes through this point that's parallel to this line here. It's really important to first get a visual of what it is we are looking for. 
You can see here that I've actually already graphed the line and plotted the point. Let's just label it here. So this line is y minus 2x equals 5. And this point right here is negative 6 comma 1. So you, in general, to solve problems like this, you do not need to draw a graph. But I'm setting this up with a graph first so you can visually understand what it is that we're trying to do. So we are given the line y minus 2x equals 5. We're also told we have this point. And what we are looking for is we want another equation of a line that goes through that point and is parallel to the already the given line. So this is the line we're looking for here. We need to find an equation of this line. It's got to be parallel to this line, and it has to go through the point negative 6, 1. Well, what do we know about these two lines? If they're going to be parallel, what do they have to have? From the previous screen, we saw that they have to have the same slope. So what we need from this line is we need to know its slope. That line was given to us, y minus 2x equals 5. What is the slope of this line here? As usual, we need to write it in y equals mx plus b form. So you would need to add 2x to both sides, giving us y equals 2x plus 5. And now you can see the slope of this line is 2. So the slope of that particular line, the given line, is m equals 2. We need to find the equation of this line, and it has to go through this point. But we also know this line has to be parallel to this one. That means the slope of this line also needs to be 2. So we need a slope for our new line to be 2. So basically, what this is equivalent to saying is we need to find an equation with slope, of course, a linear equation. Find an equation with slope 2 that goes through the point negative 6, 1. We've done problems like this already. We want to find an equation with a given slope that has to go through a particular point. So let's now finish this. Again, as long as it's not vertical, in which we know it is not because that's slope 2, it, the equation can be written in the form y equals mx plus b. So we'll build off of that. We need to determine m and we need to determine b. Well, we know that m is 2, so let's first put that in. y equals 2x plus b. Recall, b is not any y-coordinate b is the y-coordinate of the point on the y-axis. And the point on the y-axis always has an x value of 0. This is not 0 here, so this is not b. How do we get b? Well, we can temporarily plug in negative 6, 1 into this equation for x and y, and then solve that equation for b. So we're going to plug in 1 for y. 2 times, we're going to plug in negative 6 for x. And then we have plus b. Now we have an equation just with the variable b, we can solve for that. So y equals 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. And if you add 12 to both sides, you've got 13 equals b. And remember, this is not the equation of the line. The equation of the line is y equals the slope was 2 times x, plus we just found the b value is 13. This line is parallel to this line, but it also goes through the point negative 6, 1.